What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network, here with a reading of the absolutely phenomenal Bitcoin Optech newsletter. Today, number nine, August 21st, 2018. This week's newsletter introduces a request to help test the next version of Bitcoin Core short descriptions of projects Bitcoin Core contributors are working on, and a list of notable mergers during the past week. Action items. Allocating time to test Bitcoin Core version 0.17 release candidate. In the coming days, Bitcoin Core will begin releasing candidates of version 0.17.0. Organizations and individual users planning to use version 0.17 are encouraged to test the release candidate and to make sure that they do not contain that that they contain all the features you need and don't have any bugs that would affect your operations. There are often multiple release candidates for a major release such as this, but each release candidate can theoretically be the last release candidate. So we encourage you to test as early as possible. News. No significant news was posted to the Bitcoin Dev or Lightning Dev mailing list last week. So this week, we will focus on some projects discussed during the Bitcoin Core weekly meeting. The Bitcoin Core project, like most free and open source software projects, is organized bottom up with each contributor working on the things that that they think are really important rather than top-down with projects leaders directing the network so occasionally, uh, as happened last week, developers briefly summarize to each other what they are working on for the future. It's possible some of these initiatives may fail, but it's also possible that some will become future parts of Bitcoin Core. Here's a summary of the projects discussed. First, the peer-to-peer -peer protocol encryption uh, being worked on by Jonas Schnelli with a short-term focus on unauthenticated encryption with the BIP-151 style, but perhaps using a different mechanism than described in the BIP. Peer authentication, for example, BIP-150, is probably further off as a criticism against it as is that the simplest way of implementing it uh, makes it easy to fingerprint particular peers and reduce privacy. So a more advanced mechanism is described for the case that needs it. Second, output script descriptors enhancement is being worked on by Peter Woolley. The basic idea for this was described in newsletter five. So go back and listen to that. But Woolley is investigating adding support for nested and threshold con constructions. For example, import and XPUB or XPUB, XPUB <laughs> into your wallet as watch only chains, for example, to get partially signed Bitcoin transaction for it. This would make adding hardware wallet support for Bitcoin Core easier. This support would also be compatible with time locks and hash locks for use with Lightning Network compatible wallets, hardware and software. Risk V support being worked on by Vladimir Vanderlan. This is a CPU architecture rapidly increasing in popularity as a potential competitor with ARM based chipsets, especially among hobbyists, as the CPU design is open source. A project of several developers, including Wanderlan, is ultimately providing deterministically generated hashes of Bitcoin Core binary procedure produced using RISC-V cross-compiling to ensure known problems and backdoors in a prevalent x86-64 chipset aren't being used to compromise Bitcoin Core binary builds. Van der Laan has several recent successes and started probably the first RISC-V Bitcoin node in the world, which has already synced part of the chain. Fantastic. Fourth, bandwidth efficiency set reconsolidation protocol for transactions being proposed by Gregory Maxwell, Glab Neukommen, and Peter Woolley. 
this may also be a node that has new transactions in, in its mempool. To tell a peer about those transactions by communicating an amount of data equal to the expected size of the difference themselves. This is comparison to the current protocol where nodes communicating the existence of a transaction by sending a 32-byte hash to, of it to their peers. Well-connected nodes can receive or send more than hundreds of these notifications per each 224-byte median-sized transactions they process resulting in significant amounts of long-lived nodes bandwidth being wasted, up to 90% according to the measurements by Neumenko, although recently improved Bitcoin Core may have reduced this figure. Maxwell is also working on making it possible for a newly started or long disconnected node to efficiently sync the high fee rate part of its mempool from its peers using the same basic mechanism. A dandelion protocol denial of service resistant stem routing being worked on by Suhas Daf Daftua and the dandelion protocol is expected to make it extremely difficult for an adversary to determine the IP address of any program that creates a Bitcoin transaction, even if they don't use Tor. But the new method of handling unconfirmed transactions privately for a time during the STEM phase has to be secured against attacks that could waste node bandwidth and memory. For additional details, please see the conversation logs. Notable code commits. For this week, Bitcoin Core, LND, and C Lightning. Bitcoin Core version 0 0.17 branched. This allows developers to focus on ensuring stability, translation completeness, and other release features on that branch while developing of new features continues on the master branch. This notable commits section only focuses on the master development branch of each project. So commits mentioned from this point forward are much less likely to be included in version 0 0.17 version of Bitcoin Core and it should not be expected before uh, the 0 0.18 version. A Bitcoin Core commit, and a bit, two of them actually, improve the BIP-174 partially signed Bitcoin transaction handled in ambiguous situations. Oh, how ambiguous. <laughs> Another Bitcoin Core co merge makes it much easier to build Bitcoin Core with Microsoft Visual Studios including being able to use the Visual Studio, Studio debugger. And another Bitcoin Core merger provides the 10th, 25th, 50th, 75th, and 90th percentile fee rates for a historic block with the GetBlockStat RPC, introduced to the master development branch a couple months ago. A Lightning L&D development uh, commitment or merge allows L&D autopilot funding mechanisms to optionally use its own unconfirmed change output for funding transactions, allowing it to potentially open multiple challenge, cha channels in the next block. Note, this was only the most notable of several minor but useful improvements to the autopilot feature merged this week. Another L&D merge is the pay invoice and send payment comments now require extra confirmation. Although this can be bypassed by the flag force or F parameter. And please, peers, subscribe to the Bitcoin Optech newsletter, which is by far the most dense and useful summary, which is still approachable of all the fantastic things happening in Bitcoin. Here, as always, I'm so grateful for these contributors to the Bitcoin Optech newsletter who provide all like the plethora of information here that I before then was completely ignorant of. I did not really care, nor did I have the time to look through all these archives and find the most useful and well explained uh, information. Well, with the Bitcoin Optag newsletter, you provide, you are being provided every single week with the most dense summary of all the amazing stuff that is happening here in the Bitcoin ecosystem. 
and it's lovely. So thank you very much for all the supporters. And thanks, of course, to all the supporters of the World Crypto Network on tallyco.in. So thank you very much and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.